Hello friends, I have a very exciting day today. An app that I have built is launching on uh, Product Hunt. It's called Classify by Trezzy. Classify is the name of the app and Trezzy is the company. So feel free to support it. And basically the app allows you to categorize, to analyze the bank transactions. So uh, if you're building a fintech company, if you export bank transactions, uh, uh, you want to make uh, sense of this information. And often this information is uh, not very readable. You can get like a description of a transaction and amount uh, often the export format from some banks could look more or less like this like you would have a date description amount currency and that's it but uh, really if you analyze the transactions you want to know the category like is it for rent is it for subscriptions is it for groceries you want to know the information about the vendor like is it for from mcdonald's or is it from uber to better analyze um, the transactions and uh, this is what the app basically allows you to do. It is an API that lets you to send information about your transaction. It will analyze this information and give you back a response with the information about the company that uh, uh, sent you the money or to whom you send the money and the economic activity and mu much more. So let's try to create an account and see how it works and see how you can use it in a Rails application. Because here I have a Rails application where I imported this list of transactions and I want to add the, the information about like the category of the transaction, the uh, company name that uh, sent or received this uh, transaction, the logos and so on. So first of all, I will go and uh, sign up. Okay, signing up. And here I have created an account. I have 20,000 free credits. So 20,000 transactions that I can categorize for free. And I will go to the playground here. Okay, I need to get an API key. Let's create an API key. Here it is. Uh, I will go back to the playground. And uh, here is an example. So I can uh, uh, add information about a transaction, like label, amount, uh, country language. I click on enrich. It will make... Uh, its uh, analysis and give this kind of information. So here we have this uh, uh, transaction category, the company, so G7 is like a taxi service in France, the economic activity of this company, uh, logo URL, in this case we didn't find the logo URL, but for most companies it would find the logo URL, and uh, we even have the website. Yeah, this taxi service. So we know that uh, uh, this transaction was sent to G7 taxi. And you see, we don't even have G7 anywhere in the transaction label, but uh, magically the tool uh, managed to figure out that this specific uh, thing is usually written in transactions to this uh, uh, company. Okay, so let's make it work in the Ruby on Rails application. So we we'll, are going to get this kind of information as an answer and we need to store it somewhere. So let's add a, a column that would be a classifier payload and it would be a JSON column. We're going to keep this as JSON in our application. So uh, let's say Rails generate migration, add the classifier payload to transactions. Let's open our migration. And uh, we're going to store this information in JSONB. It's uh, usually better and more performant than JSON. It is not accessible in uh, SQLite uh, as of yet, but uh, it is available this format in uh, PostgreSQL. Okay, Rails to be migrate. Let's now display this uh, classifier payload in our transactions list. Here and here. Okay, well, at the moment it is obviously empty. And uh, we're going to get this information from uh, our API. So we're going to make this kind of uh, request to the Trezzy Classifier API. For each of our transactions, we're going to get this response and we're going to store it in our uh, Ruby Rails applications database. So let's create a new job that we're going to run for each trans transaction. I will name the job Classify. Rails generate job Classify. Let's open the classify job. We are going to run it on a transaction. And how do we adapt this uh, CURL request to our application? Well, this is actually quite uh, easy. We can uh, uh, use ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot for this. So I will say um, I want to adapt this CURL request to work 
with rails and the third day. Third day is uh, a gem for making the HTTP requests with Ruby on Rails. Okay, yeah, let's add the gem Faraday, bundle add Faraday. And uh, here we have this example, so response. We have our API key that we received here. Uh, then we're going to have label will be transaction.description because here in the database we keep it as description amount transaction dot amount uh, country will be fr for all of them and language will be french for all of them so we are going to get this response and we are going to say transaction dot update classifier payload uh, we don't need to pass just response dot uh, body let's try running this on one of our transactions i will open the rails console Transaction, yeah, equals transaction dot first. Let's have a look at this transaction. Here it is. Uh, I'm going to run this uh, job on the transaction. So I will say uh, classify job dot perform now on the transaction. Okay, it performed. Let's have a look at the transaction again. It has this classifier payload. Let's have a closer look dot classifier payload and here we see that uh, the category is uh, EMP 0700 that is uh, sellers and wages we now know that this was a payment for a salary of an employee and uh, potentially we can get other information like uh, the company and so on uh, for this one specifically we didn't find the company maybe there was not enough information okay let's uh, have a look at our application if uh, this classifier payload was saved if we can have a look at it yes so for the first transaction we have this classifier payload okay now let's try categorizing all the transactions in our database so we can run this uh, job on uh, each transaction let's say transaction dot all dot each uh, do yes do transaction uh, trans and we'll run classify job dot perform now on each transaction and 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 this is supposed to run the uh, the classification on each uh, of our transactions this can take uh, a while yes you see it's happening and if we go back to Trezi we can see you see there are few and few free credits on our account we have already categorized 15 uh, and our 19 transactions and we can have a look at them here so uh, you see for some of them we even find the logos of the companies like we know that uh, this company uh, has this website it has uh, uh, a logo let's start displaying the logos of uh, the companies that we found um, so uh, let's have uh, another field for logo company logo and how can we get this so uh, let's see an example uh, and let's again ask uh, github copilot so transaction dot payload equals this how can i uh, display logo with image tag it is going to help me pass this uh, json payload and display the logos in the meantime in the console you see we are still analyzing the transactions it usually takes i think half a second to analyze one you have already analyzed around 200 of them okay let's see so here we have uh, this example code let's paste it here and let's see yeah so you see it found a lot of uh, company logos looks uh, really nice 
So you would have the information about the uh, economic activity, the yeah, the category, the information about the companies that uh, received or that sent you uh, these uh, bank transactions. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, this is an API for categorizing bank uh, transactions and making sense uh, out of them. Great for fintech companies. Again, feel free to support uh, my project on uh, Product Hunt. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.